Okay, let's carry on. Right, so it should be the festival, or celebration rather. Looks like I'm not the only one running late. We're all headed in this direction. Ah, here we go. And here he is, only Marge and Lee, the newest member of our community, Talon. Come on up here and say a few words, Talon. Do I have to? Talon? I, oh, well, I'd just like to say... Thanks. I don't know what I'd have done if the agency had caught up to me and I hadn't made it here. You see, they... Talon, nothing about your past. It's our only rule. I actually have a few more rules than that. You haven't got the no technology rule. Oh, right, sorry. So, thanks for everything. The time has come for the question. As you know, the four professions of Paradise keep our society functioning. The defenders keep us safe. They build the walls that protect our livelihood and guard us from threats day and night. The farmers grow our food and produce the potions and salves that make our day-to-day -day lives easier. The lawyers are the record keepers and are responsible for dispute resolution. Society runs smoothly under their guidance. And the actors enrich their lives with entertainment. No society is complete without forms of culture and art. And the actors provide both. Talent, I will ask you the question twice. You must abide by your second answer. There will be no turning back. That said, keep in mind that we have enough lawyers as it is. If you wish to become a lawyer, you will need to wait until our population grows and we can support more lawyers in our community. Talon, newest member of Paradise. Which of these professions will you adopt as your own to work at during your stay here in Paradise? Yeah, let's go back to Ooh. I will only ask this one more time. You may change your mind, but your next answer is final, and you will be held to it. Talon, for the period of your stay here in Paradise, for the last time, which of these professions will you adopt your own to work at during your stay here in Paradise? Actor. Yeah. Welcome to Paradise, Actor Talon. Refreshments and dancing for everyone. Woohoo! Orchestra, take it away. Oh yeah, he doesn't want me to see the orchestra. Go that way. Oh, Isabella again. Ah, oh, here she is. Trying to sneak out without me, huh? You still owe me a dance. You missed the ceremony, I guess. I gave a speech. I was here. I was just left. I just left to get something. That's all. You were great. Thanks, Emily. So, do you um want to dance? I thought you were never going to get around to it. Well, yeah, I know a place we can go. Here we are. The orchestra sometimes practice out here. I don't think they realise that I know about this grove too. It's nice. I'm glad you like it. Here, yeah, let me put this down. That's... that's a radio. Doesn't that count as technology? I won't tell Daddy if you won't. I thought everyone here was morally against all machines or something. Why do you have that? They're getting pretty rare too. My mother gave it to me when I was little. She grew up before the shortage, of course, when they were common. I've only seen them on the vidcasts. I'm pretty sure those are usually props and are not the real things. Want to hear it? But what if someone hears? We could get in a lot of trouble. We'll be fine. Everyone's busy with the celebration. Plus, we'll be able to hear if the orchestra stops playing. I'm pretty sure they're the only ones who know about this little grove anyway. I don't know. It'll be fun. Let me just turn it on. I only have the few tapes that my mother kept with it, but I like them. Turn it down, it's way too loud. Okay, okay, sorry. The 
It's pretty. It's very old. This song was written at least 30 years ago and probably more than that. Do you ever wonder what life must have been like before the shortage? Not really, but I guess things would be different. When I worked for Dal Centric, I mean, I guess I shouldn't talk about it. More of Daddy's rules? I don't mind. I'd love to hear about your life before coming here. Well, let's just say that I was framed for killing someone really important. Who did you kill? I didn't kill anybody. I said I was framed. Sorry. But why are we talking about me? You're the one who almost killed herself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I like your song. You haven't asked me what my profession is. I'm 24, so I've taken the trials, you know. Um, what's your profession, Emily? Talon, why are you so nice to me? Is it because you genuinely like me, or is it because you're afraid I'll kill myself if you aren't? I really like you, Emily, if that's the truth. Is it, though? Or am I just scared of the consequences? Let's just dance, Talon. I meant what I said, Emily. I really do like you. Talon, I... What's going on here? Oh dear, we're well busted. I thought I heard music coming from down here. The celebration's over already? It's been over for 30 minutes. <gasps> it's a radio. That's against the law. You know what this means, Emily? Banishment from paradise. But... This has been a long time coming. Just because you're the daughter of a councilman, you think you can... It's mine. What? The radio is mine. I brought it with me from Lash City. I didn't realize that I couldn't use it here. You didn't realize? Oh. What's all this commotion down here? The uh, new citizen of Paradise brought a radio with him. He uh, didn't realize he couldn't keep it. Talon. The usual penalty for using such a machine inside Paradise is banishment. However, since you've only just welcomed the society, it would be a shame to keep you out on the very same night. So I'm going to make an exception. Since it was you, no penalty. But you must bring the radio to storage. You cannot keep it. If it happens again, though, I will not be so lenient and you will be banished. Emily, I'm disappointed. You should have told Talon that it was against the rules. Daddy, I... Good night. Well, I'll just save you the trouble and bring the radio to storage myself. I wouldn't want either of you two to forget, after all. Alan. I offer to give you advice if you run into any woman troubles, Talon. But I can see you don't really need my help. You're pretty quick thinking when you need to be. Oh, but I guess Isabella knew. That, oh, yeah. You knew it wasn't really mine? How? Because it's exactly what Drago would have done for me. Plus, I escorted you through the tunnel when you got here and you weren't carrying it. You're all right, Talon. Good night, Emily. Good night, Miss Isabella. You don't think she's going to turn us in, do you? Isabella? I don't think so. It's late. We should probably head back. Yeah. Talon, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. Don't worry about it. It's nice to have finally done something right for once. Here's something else you can do right. <gasps> don't get to see it. Good night, Talon. Good night. Tell him one more thing. My profession. I'm an actress. What does that... What does that mean? What a day. Oh, is it morning already? I wonder what time it is. And odds on him being late. Oh, there's no clock, is there? I wonder where I report to. In fact, I better find out and fast. Right, where's the actors? Oh, here we are. It's a good guess. Well, nice of you to join us, eh? I'm Stawal, the leader of this company. Talon, isn't it? Sorry I'm a little late. It won't happen again, I promise. 
I swear, I see more promising actors sleeping underneath the tables and the bars. If you think you're going to be able to waltz in here like a martyred hero, but which I mean lay, well, you're certainly mistaken. I'm sorry, it won't happen again, sir. Well, you're one of us now. I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm acting right now. <laughs> Welcome to the great profession of actors, talent. I'm sure you'll have a great time with us. Me, me too, sir. As soon as my heart rate drops again. Don't mind that old coot. He did the same exact thing when I joined up last year. My name's Lurl. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lurl. This is Orlean behind me, and Emily's up front by the dragon head. We've met, actually. There's no way this thing is going to pass for a dragon's head, Lurl. Well, I don't see you finding anything better, Em. Well, welcome to our little family, Talon. I hate to cut the festivities short, but I'm sure every, uh, everyone agrees that we're going to need a new script. I sort of liked the last one. What was wrong with it? You wrote it. We need something epic, and that calls for an expedition to the theatre ruins. I know just the man for the job, eh? Talon? Oh, and Lil, you go with him. Keep him out of trouble. <laughs> Looks like it's you and me, Talon. Let's head to the theatre ruins and find an epic script. We should outfit ourselves first, though. Orlean says the ruins are haunted, but I don't really know if I believe her. Anyway, the theatre ruins are to the south of Paradise Farmland. That's where we're going. Okay. Hit the shops. Is this Defender or Shops? Shops. What does Lurl use? Swords. Do I have more to sell? Oh wait, I thought that's a quip. See if you can actually equip me for armor first. Oh, he can. Alright, I want that then. Um, not that then. Mm, I don't like selling the robot stuff. I'm not going to use the stealth because over the regular ones, am I? Um, let's have more to sell. A bottle I've been holding on to all this time. That's good. Got this empty pack that is worthless. Sell all my healing items, but maybe use the crisps. Ooh, hot sandwiches are better than pears. In fact, it's probably time to lose the cold sandwiches. Right, let's see. Just Lil's can be with us for the rest of the game, so might as well spend a bit of time. Perhaps Probably not worth buying the sword. I'll probably find it in the next dungeon anyway. Now, uh, portable console is Lurl. Lurl has memorized zero of the 18 skills required him to reach the rank of Master Thespian. Lurl can equip swords, he can memorize the attack patterns of the enemies, and then recreate their performances. However, Lurl himself does not gain experience when he does this. Instead, the form he took on gains points. There are a few limitations for this ability. Lil cannot memorize every type of enemy. Lil cannot memorize an enemy unless he's encountered it on his on its own. Okay. I'm trying to remember what each of the so there's basically one character who joins you for each profession. All right, there's the theater just over there. Um, I seem to. I think it was Drago who joined. Ooh. This might be useful. Yay! Let's 
now he can be a bandit. But I won't worry about that. Uh, brain drop already have that one. Uh, okay. What was he saying? Oh yeah. So Lowell memorizes enemy skills. Drago, I think, is the person we get for a defender. And oh boy. We think so. There's a stage inside and all sorts of scripts, props, and sets. Maybe it was something else first, but it was certainly a theater at some point during its lifetime. Yeah. So Drago, I think when he every time he kills enemy, he gets like a individual currency. But he can get um, new weapons with or something. Vaguely remember, it's been a long time. And the farmer one, even though I think that's the one I did most recently. Um, I seem to recall, I don't remember what his skill system is. But I think he, he might have had a crafting thing. I don't, I don't know. I think it was Rowden? Not sure. One odd thing about the theatre ruin, no matter how many times we've come in looking for scripts, the doors always seem to lock again, and the furniture is often in different places. Orlean thinks this place is haunted. Maybe we'll find out for sure today. Uh, maybe. Let's have a look. There we go, a new sword already. Don't know if it's better than the one with Devor, but still, let's see. Oh, I've just got rid of all the stale ones. I don't know why it gave us all the fresh ones, then now I have anything but stale. Oh, my boots, also. Mm. The liquid staff. I'm sure I've already had that. I suppose it was a case of missed it and then, um. Ooh, Scarlet Warwick. I memorized him. Yeah, this ends before we ever get um, either one of the gang members back. Did I do this one? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay. Is it this floor? a strange little hallway. I don't remember the last time I was here. I think this is the last room. Theatre Ruins E. The treasure chest vanished. Hard Helmet Rusty Shield. Right, was there a locked door anywhere? Ooh, it wasn't dead. It's a different one. Oh. It said it at the door. I don't see if it did. Oh, it's the same as the skeleton. Oh, okay. This is probably the thing I need to do the key for. Let's go, Talon. Oh, that looks like it could be a script. Let's go grab it. Zumbly boss fight. Let's see. The tragedy of Captain Ellis. That sounds good. Let's take it and get out of here. Lul, 
hell? Strong black. Oh, he's got ghost. Um, got a ghost. No one needs to get himself to drop. Um, don't to do any of those things. Right, what can the ghost do? Drain MP from victims, fear and immobilize, strike a target with deathly cold. You certainly took your time, Lil. Ah, you're fine. Let's go to show everyone this great script we found. What's that? Sounded like walls shifting or something. Let's just get out of here. I'm convinced, all right, Olene? It's haunted. Good for you. She's not here, Lil. Things did shift. Does that mean there's new stuff? I don't think it does. Good glance. There. All looks very much the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so each of the professions has its own little side story bit. Um, and then they rejoin after a bit. Already, I didn't think you kids had a ghost of a chance. Ugh. The tragedy of Captain Ellis, eh? Let's see a heroic and handsome lead. His fat servant murder. Hmm. No magic sword, though. Well, we can add one. Ooh, a forbidden romance. Those are always good. Clowns. Don't like Act Three too. Too slow. Maybe add a witch or two. Poison in the champagne. That's beautiful. Don't know about the, uh, the two-way mirror. Too coincidental. Maybe some juggling instead. He's going to be at this for a while. I could go a right to eat or something. One month later. Is it morning already? And let me guess, you're late again. That's right, today we're going to rehearse the place more. I better get going. And look, we have little scripts. Osmond carries with him a flask of ale, which he takes a swig from whenever he is nervous, which is frequently. These swigs are usually followed by a belch unless he's in the company of women. In that case, he holds his breath to prevent it. Osmond's favourite expression is, well, I'll be a horned devil, beswaggled alms, sayer. No one knows what this means, but for some reason, Swell thinks it's hilarious. Sorry, Swell. Short and fat, Osmond follows his master captain us everywhere like a puppy dog. He will only leave his side as a result of a swift kick. Osmond is not fun, it's fond of physical altercations, and will run if he's in danger of getting beaten up. I don't know if I have to memorise that or not. Are uh, we ready? Remember to stay in character. Oh, he's most concerned about me, how rude. Here we go. While Osmond is in, in, while Osmond, in the distance, I can see the city of Garagaboran, where we can pick up some supplies before we head to the castle. What do you think? Pick this with ale. Oops, I didn't pick up the prop. Brigands, Osmond, Aiden teaching these scoundrels a lesson. Get 
get back here, Osmond. A parry and a thrust. Blood ho, a mark that will leave truly. Uh, excuse you, I think I'm doing badly. And did I last save? Oh well. It's a ghost, perhaps it has something to tell us. Perhaps we should run? I can tell you're scared because you're stuttering, my faithful friend. But this cannot. But can you not see how beautiful this spirit is? Beware of me, the lady of. The lady of where? She's gone. Let us proceed to the town, Osmond. Ah, the pleasant little town of Garagoran. It's been ages since I was last here. Run into that tavern over yonder and get us some rations. I'll stay here. Okay, master. Be right back. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, that was obviously a mistake. Uh, by our Patreon. No thanks. I better not suit yourself. Can I help you? Yes. We need some rations. So did you get what I asked for? Yes, I did, Master. Hear the rations. Oh, you did. Uh, thanks. You're not as much as a blunder as you usually are. Hmm. Oops. Oh. I'll try again. Let's try again. Did I save? Or did I last save? Oh, whoops. This time I must remember to pick up my frog. Skip. Right, let me pay a bit more attention to these notes and have a look at this prop. Nothing. Osmond's ale prop. Ooh, notes. Why do I have to be Osmond anyway? I wish I could be Captain Ellis. Osmond is an idiot. Right, okay. Osmond follows his master everywhere like a puppy dog. The only the side as result was a swift kick. Okay. Not fond of his qualifications for running in danger of getting beaten up. So I need to say this one. While I'll be a horns, I will be swaggled elsewhere. No one else has been some reason, but well, it's funny. Small flask of ale, she sweets frequently, followed by belch, unless in the company of women. Okay. Right, let's try that again. Still got thinking of the fire, you know. Oh, okay. Right, let's see if I can do a bit better this time. What do you think? Uh, take a swig of ale. You are thirsty, yes? Oh, right, that was already wrong. Oh, I don't know whether I'm meant to be nervous there's a town in the distance. Alright, so as long as I don't leave my ass to side, whatever. Well, there's town in the distance, what do you think? Great idea, Master. Of course it is. Onward to the village. Brigands, aid me in teaching these scoundrels a lesson. Run away. Get back here, Osmond. Harry and a thrust. Um, nice job, Master. Oh, I should have fainted. Oops. Okay. Right, this time, I don't want to run into that tavern. No. I'll stay here with you, don't let me keep you, Osmond. Sure. Oh, I just remember if you hope you brought some with you. A swig of ale. Belch. Pleasure drinking with you? Right, now I've got to be useless. 
I'd like an apple. Oh, you silly fat son, what am I going to do with you, Osman? In any case, your pony came back. I think he got hungry and followed me here from Freetown. What was his name again? Oh dear. Um, Hiker? Ah, that's it, how could I forget? Ready to go, Osman? Ready to go, Master? Ah, what was I meant to do first? Whoops. Did I do better? Well, it was pretty much 50-50. Oh, well. I'll settle with that. I can't get this transparent powder to wash off. It's just sticking everywhere. My one line during the scenes, we did what isn't worth this. Hmm. No, what is, what is it? I just had this crazy idea. Why don't we perform the tragedy of Captain Ellis at the theatre ruins? Are you crazy? You've seen that place. Talon, tell him. Uh, I... That's a great idea. Where better to perform such an epic than in the theatre ruins, legacy of a forgotten period of dramatic history? All it needs is a little fixing up. This performance will be astounding. Look alive, people. We've got to breathe some life into the theatre ruins in the next 30 days. I guess another month later? Is it morning already? Time it is, but we have no way of knowing. Get to the theatre ruins. Although they aren't really a ruin anymore, and the last month's work has really paid off. Right. I'm not going to bother trying it again. Where is everybody? Well, they must be getting their work done so they can see the show tonight. I hope we're really ready. There you are, Talon. Ready for the big night? I think so. I'm still not very happy about doing this here. I always hear strange noises. The whole place is creepy. I haven't seen anything strange here since Talon and I got the script. Maybe whatever was haunting this place has moved on. Tonight we've got something even creepier to worry about. An audience. So everybody concentrate and just do it like we've been practicing. And no whispering backstage. The acoustics here are so good that the audience will hear every word. Here comes the first of the audience. So what's this play supposed to be about? It's a tragedy, I think. Thanks for spoiling the ending, Is Now I know everyone dies at the end. Oh, Drago. Ladies and gentlemen, the actors of Paradise are pleased to welcome you to our latest performance and our first in this magnificent building, our new theatre. So sit back and enjoy a tale of woe from a forgotten era. The Tragedy of Captain Ellis. <laughs> Meanwhile... Oh, my lovely AG7. Oh, agency guards. En masse. Access denied. Sorry, not welcome. Access denied. Oh, my poor robot. You know, sometimes I wish I hadn't been chosen to be a defender. We always miss out on all the good activities. Yeah, that's the truth. Aren't you guys supposed to be guarding the tunnel? I hate that shift. Yeah, we just play cards usually. We should probably head back soon. What was that? Thank you, thank you. For Talon's lackluster performance, he receives... Oh, maybe I should have tried it again to get better lines. Heavy Jacket B, Recharge Draft. Thank you very much for your time. You've been a wonderful audience. I must speak with the council. Oh, who's that? Defender. What? What's going on? It's the agency. The agency is attacking Paradise. What? Impossible. They wouldn't dare. Defenders, back to Paradise. Our home is in danger. Damn, I knew we wouldn't shouldn't have left we should have left more defenders to stand guard. Everyone, follow me. 
Uh, is that any better? Well, it won't be better than that. No. Oh, let's just beat them up. This is terrible talent. We have to do something. They have to be survivors. They just have to be. Let's all split up. Good luck, Talon. Dead. Dead. Emily. Oh, that's the storage room. Emily, where are you going? This is the entrance to storage. Did she go inside? Emily, what are you doing? We have to get out of here. Talon, I have to find my radio. I can't leave it here for the agents to destroy. I just couldn't live with myself. I lost my mother's radio. We don't have the time. The agency guards could come here any minute. Emily, come on. I found a pre-shortage radio. Someone's coming. It's Pearson. What's he doing down here? Where are you going? Come back. We can't stay around here much longer. Oh, there's Ison. Is it time for a short diversion? Still snoring his head off. What was that? Access granted. What the... Someone's taking remote control of my simulation. Someone's hacking into my security perimeter. I need to block off the advocate's memory addresses. The speed is too fast. I'm not going to make it. Damn, why did I pay more attention to the secure node access channel? The advocate must not be reactivated. Listen to me. You don't know what you're doing. Please. Dr. Vargo. Yes, that's me. Is there a problem? We'll need to come with us, Doctor. This really isn't a good time, I'm afraid. We apologise for the inconvenience, but you really have very little choice in the matter, Doctor. I see. Daddy, what are you doing? What is this place? Emily? Emily Talon, paradise has fallen. The agency will be here in moments. We need to get you to a safe place, sir. We need to save as many people as we can. No, Talon. Paradise existed for one reason alone. To preserve that reason, I have to stay here. What? Daddy, the agency? I know it will be hard, Emily, but this is the only way. I need you and Talon to keep the dream of paradise alive. Long ago, my friends and I fled for the agency, and we came to this place. We fled because we had something the agency wanted. Something it would give the world for. The director understood the necessity of keeping this object as far away from his control as possible. He ordered our new settlement to be a haven, a place the agency could not intrude upon. He thought this would keep the object safe. I see now that he was wrong. Talent, to be admitted to paradise, you passed a trial that no one had successfully completed before. I think if anyone has the strength of character to keep this object safe, you do. But you waived the trials, I never took them. You must be thinking of someone else. No, Talon, you passed the trial, and with flying colours. Keep this package safe, Talon. Do not let it fall into the hands of the agency, and do not open it under any circumstances. Talon received the package. Daddy, I don't understand. What is this package? Why is the agency looking for it? I hope for the sake of all of us that you never need to know the answer to those questions. Good luck, Talon. Goodbye, Emily. I love you with all my heart. It made me very proud. Daddy, no, you have to escape with us. Talon, there's a secret passage behind the coffin. Use it to get above ground and then get as far away from paradise as you can. 
Keep him safe, Emily. I'm counting on you. Let's get back to the simulation. Who are you? You're not part of the simulation, are you? You never completed your mission. I've been hired to rescue you and finish what you started. The old man's putting up a good fight, but my rerouting scanner program should have broken his temporary blocks by now. You're a slicer, aren't you? Guess they found that slice they were looking for. The best of the best. My name's Manta. Emily, let's move. I thought it would be you. Yes, I did, dear friend. Kirsch. Where is it? I won't ask again. Where have you hidden it? You've made a tactical error, my old friend. Oh, sorry, old friend. Never underestimate an old man who has nothing left to live for. Here they come. We're trapped. Not quite. On the count of three. Okay. What? One. And you push them off. Two, three. So, two of the residents escaped. A man and a woman jumped from the cliff into the river. We couldn't stop them. Describe the man. He had dark hair and was wearing a visor of some sort. He matches the description of the director's assassin. You found nothing unusual in the search of this place? No, sir. Hmm. The old man must have given it to him. Sir, can we have the hovercraft ready to go in minutes and track them before they leave the river? No. I will follow the fugitives on foot. Sir, take the hovercraft back to Primer. Our slicer should be ready by the time you get there. I will return to Primer shortly with the new orders. Yes, sir. It was a good effort, Pearson, but the boy can't run forever. Talent, are you alright? I think I swallowed the entire river, but I guess that's better than, well, vice versa. I still can't believe it. Do you still have it? The package, yeah, I've got it. Why would the agency do something like that? We had never done anything to them. It's late. Do you think we'll be safe here tonight? I don't think I could move another inch of my, if my life depended on it. Actually, that's not funny. Talon, tell me a story. What? Anything to take my mind off. That. What about those vidcash you're always talking about? Flashbang? Well, sure, if you think it would help. What was the main character's name? He had a weird name, didn't he? Max Powertrain isn't a weird name. Anyway. Max Powertrain was, well, I guess you would call him the best. He was the best fighter, the best thinker. Basically, he was the best detective the force ever had. Whenever a mystery needed to be solved, they called Max. And although he was a little too fond of his wine and his women, he always answered the call and caught the criminals before it was too late. Flashbang was my favourite vidcast. How come, Talon? I don't know. I guess I just liked how Max always had the answers. He was never scared and he never doubted his abilities. Week after week, Max Powertrain proved that the good guys always win in the end. That's an assurance that wasn't very easy to come by living in Mash City. But Paradise, on the other hand, 
You can't imagine the difference. The fresh air, the people. Bad topic. Sorry. I'm sure the others... I'm sure your father made it out. Tell me more about Max's powertrain talent, please. Just keep talking. I need something else to think about. In the fourth season of Flashbang, they did something I couldn't believe. In the fourth season, Max had just finished working on a case when he was surprised by one of the thugs he had put behind bars. This thug had broken out of prison and robbed an army with the sole purpose of getting revenge on Max. Max managed to shoot him dead, but the thug had already pulled the pin on the an antique flash grenade, which exploded. Max was blinded for life. He dedicated his whole life to stamping out crime, but without his eyes, what was left? He went from being the best at everything to little more than a memory. Soon even his friends on the force forgot him. That's terrible. What happened then? I don't know. I stopped watching. It just wasn't the same. Talon, thanks for being here. I feel like I've known you forever. I can't imagine having to face this without you. I'm not making any sense. Good night, Talon. Good night, Emily. You're still away. Haven't you been able to get to sleep? I'm fine. I was just thinking. About what? I need to sleep now. I'm not very convincing. I'm not buying it, Talon. More snoring. Blast. Her home was just destroyed. Her father and all her friends were probably killed. She's a fugitive now, just like me. She just wouldn't understand how sleeping here beside her, under the stars, with the waves crashing on the beach, would make me so happy. Damn. Okay. Emily? She wandered off. Just to have a with me. Yeah. Wait, why was there a bucket there? It seems. Oh, it's probably full heel. That's what happens when you stay awake all night. You sleep late. What are you doing? You shouldn't go off wandering by yourself. This cave could be dangerous. I mean it. This cave is full of sand, and the breeze from the river blows through here almost constantly. It makes it hard to see the path sometimes. You're welcome. Bucket full heel. Yeah. Oh, I haven't got any empty bottles. Oh. Actually, if you drink the super healy thing, does it give you the bottle back? Oh, shopping droid. Okay. Oh. Big Groot. I guess that's saying for the character we didn't get. Oh, Emily has, um... Goes to play her radio. In battle. Lovely Emily. That's just lower.
A wooden plank. Oh, okay, let's cut those things. Seems to be pretty much everything. Must have missed something down below. I haven't checked her equipment, have I? Oh, that's for Tierra. Right, so I'm still missing... One, probably two... Places I could fall down. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's go all the way around. Why is she taking so much less healing? Oh. Am I just misreading the numbers? Aha. So the next one's probably is that below me? No. There we go. Oh, but I like my speed boost. Right, okay. Time to actually head out here. Oh, hold on. More checks. Maybe it's after. There we go. Just the one.
Venga, va. Normal. Boss fight. Yeah. No, it's a piece of paper automatic. Okay. Uh, you need to heal. To replace the lovely boss music with something else. Oh dear, blinded. Yeah, it's like that this time. Poison it? Uh, must have something to clear my eyes. Uh, she's more likely attacking, I guess. Uh, okay, he's not immune to it. But he's immune to it then, I guess. Those attackers, and you can still do that little damage. Right, uh, where's the cheap wine? Actually, probably it's trying to get cops if I have any more. Mm, less than enough, break. But at the same time, it costs a lot less too. More treasure. Oh, well, the agility pills definitely going on uh, thingy. Oh, I've got the strength can as well. They'd be waste on love. If he uses his acting things, he, uh, he actually transforms into a. Well, he swaps for another person in the database, I'm pretty sure. So the experience is sort of awkward. If I go back up to Edge of the Cave. Okay. So jump back, going back, and fully healing. Oh, here we go. Emily, Talon, you're alive. Lil, I'm glad to see you're safe. We should keep moving. Those agent scouts will be after us once we've had time to regroup. Let's find a safe place soon as we regroup and have our own. Then we'll deal out swift justice on the agency. Um, oh, trust just up there. I'm there. I'm all about here. And I've got a wolf now, so four out of heaven and he's allowed to get.
I only had to my sword, didn't I? Quit that. Ooh, it's like even the best attack. God hurt. When did she lose her go Oh. Oops. Is this the bottom of it here, or is it keep going down? Mm. Cause there was an option to go for the back, to go left. Oh, I've had enough. Yeah, it was here. Oh, right. Going back to paradise. Is that smoke? I think it's coming from a chimney. There must be a house at the top of that rise. We should investigate the source of that smoke. We don't need any more enemies behind us. I'd rather have enemies behind us than in front of us. Whomever it is, they might be friendly. Let's be careful, just in case. Person. Visitors, forgive me for asking, but you are real, aren't you? Yes, we're real. Tell you the truth, we're also in real trouble. That's nice. Excuse me? I so rarely get visitors. It was nice of you to stop by. I'm sorry that I don't have any tea ready for you. We've got bigger problems than a lack of tea, um... My name is Menison, but let me just get this pot boiled, boiling and I'll fix up you up a nice steaming cup of tea. I'm sorry about not having it ready, but then I didn't know you were coming. You'll have to forgive me. Um, no problem. We didn't mean to intrude, but we saw the smoke from the fire and thought we might. Here you go, dearie. Water should be ready in a moment. We won't find any alpha help here. I think she's a little slow. I heard that, dearie. You'd best not to be making judgments of people you've just met. You can get into a heap of trouble. I didn't mean... I'll give you shelter from whatever it is you're hiding from for the night, but in the morning you'll just have to leave. This old woman has seen more than her share of troubles, dearie. I doubt yours would amount to much in comparison. Menacing. I didn't... Here we go. I hope it's warm enough for you. Brewing proper tea is an art that one learns and forgets with the moon. So, now that you have your tea, let's see how you are at, um, wearing a yarn. What brings you this close to the border of poor forgotten soul? 
I think she knows more than she lets on. What do you mean? She's just, on the surface, she seems to be sort of, well, flaky. Bustling around or making tea, not really listening to what we're saying. But then every once in a while, her tone of voice changes, and you can almost... I don't know. And finally, he knew the truth that he had been seeking. In the heart of women lies a tiny frozen diamond, colder than the furthest reaches of space, sharper than the sharpest knives, and more dangerous than the fiery pits of hell. Not everything requires you to quote from a play, love. You could have just said, yes, Helen, I think you're right. I didn't think I'd remember all that passage. It's in one of the first plays we did when I came to paradise. I'm glad we're leaving tomorrow. Menacing makes me nervous. I've been chatting with Emily. What a delightful girl. She just knows the most amazing things. Children these days, what a wonder. It's getting dark. Someone should keep watch. If this man you're hiding from should happen upon my home, while everyone is sleeping, my goodness, and I'm sure we'll all need our beauty sleep theories. Yes, Minnison, we'll have someone keep watch. I'm really sorry to bother you like this. We really are in a great deal of... Good night, then. I'll be up bright and early to fix you up a hearty breakfast, and then you can be on your way. She's like a demented grandmother. She's right, though. Somebody needs to keep watch in case the agency finds us tonight. So, who should keep first watch? Right, now this bit, it's another branchy bit, but it gives you like a little cutscene about everybody in their past. Um... Trying to choose. I think Talon's is possibly the most interesting. Emily's is worth seeing, I think, once. Uh, Lurl's is, I think, possibly the least interesting, or is it? Um, the Defender's Companion has a bit more interesting because, well, spoilers, but they obviously won't see it on my playthrough. Um, they were part of the agency, um, the main Drago, Isabella, um, the other defender, so um, the farmer, if I recall, was one of the bandits um, who we didn't really see much of in this version because I went with the actors. If you went with the farmers or the defenders, I think the bandits are part of the main plot. Um, and I think Lurl's just basically him screwing up over and over again. Let's start with Emily and then I'll reload and do talons. Emily can have the first shift. Hello, Menacing. Are you having trouble sleeping? I thought you might like some company, dear girl. Isn't it just like a man to make the only girl in the group stay on watch while he sleeps? Oh, Talon didn't mean anything by it. He just wanted to take the later shift for himself, when I'd be more tired. How long have you known Talon? He told me how you two fled your home, but for how long did you know him before? Just for a few months. It seems like forever now. It's amazing how um, so much can happen. In such a short while. Oh, don't I know it, child? You look so tired. Here, yeah, close your eyes. Let me keep watching you for a little while. You need your rest. Oh, I couldn't. Menison placed her fingertips on Emily's eyelids. What was? What is this? Menison, what's going on? Relax, child. Just let yourself slip away into peaceful slumber. That's right. Let your memories surface as dreams. Dreams. Childhood happy memories. We are back in paradise for Emily's little girl. Don't play near the water, Emily. She's fine, darling. Dreams of a happier time, so refreshing. What else can I see? Yes, and Charging, don't say that. She'll be fine. How do you know? Her temperature hasn't gone down. It's only gotten worse. She won't eat. That crackpot farmer doesn't know what he's talking about. She'll be fine. Ooh, Fargo is a great man. If you had listened to him at the beginning, maybe Emily wouldn't be so sick now. Interesting. I'd forgotten Fargo was 
involved in this bit. Now, this map's very... oh, too late. Oh, here we go. If you were to open this map in the editor, you'll get a, and check the radio that you put down. Um, Lysander actually left a spoiler for Line's End, and it's about who Emily's mom is. So, um, mute me for a second if you don't want to know. Okay, it's um, Menacing, who's currently reading Emily's mind right now. She's actually Emily's mom, according to the spoiler comment on that event. I don't know if he left any others. I actually only opened up in the editor to check it, so I couldn't work out what it was from that few seconds it was on screen. And then, obviously, it was the radio, in hindsight. Where did your mother go, Emily? Away, somewhere far away. I used to stay awake at night, looking out over the mountains, always thinking that I might see her again. But I never did. I didn't know, Emily. I'm sorry my memory pathway caused you to relive such painful memories. Oh, I'm sure it was her. Hold on. One second. Steam, where are you? I'm sure it was her. Second, up to 2000. I had a blurred line. Okay, right then. Um, is it Distant Paradise? The line narrows. No, it's up to that. Ah, here we go. Emily and Minnison. Emily's sick. Here it goes. If I click on the radio. Oh, it's not there. Did I imagine it was a different event? Oh, hold on. Here we go. It was Emily's mother, not the radio. Here we go. He says, anyone interested enough to delve this deeply into ABL deserves to receive a spoiler. Yes, this is. Whatever I just said it was. That's all right then. Right, close all that back down. Okay, rest well, Emily. That Talon will be awake for his shift soon. I should get back. Then I'll see what um, happiness his memory might hold. Screen, but let's go see Talon's memories. Actually, I might choose Lola then. Do Talon's last, just so we can see Lola's. I don't. So I must admit, I've forgotten about Vargo. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's any major things in Lola's. I just seem to recall it's just about him, and also any real surprises or intrigue. Whereas the defenders had some sort of more. Uh, I barely remember the farm a bit. Obviously, didn't leave much of an impression. Right then, first watch. I don't see why I have to have the first watch. Talon just wanted the time to be alone with Emily.
menacing. You were can't sleep. I like to take walks most nights. The cool air clears my head. It looks like I'm, it's not treating you quite so well, though. Your face looks very pale. Really, I'm fine. I feel great. No problem. You must have a fever. Here, close your eyes. Let me see. Listen, I feel... It's a fingertippy thing. What the hell? Menacing. What's going on? Relax, child. Just let yourself slip away into peaceful slumber. Dreams. So tired. Here we are. So, uh, Drago, you said your name was? Yep. Yeah. Is something wrong? Well, I, uh, this trial, what just exactly am I going to have to do? It's different for every person. It's usually something to do with the professions you want to choose. And we want to choose. Ah, oh, I remember. Okay. This reveals the, um, if you hadn't already worked it out, the truth about the trials. We have to work. I thought this place was called Paradise. This must be how you came to live at Paradise. Show me more of your happy memories. So all I have to do to become a defender is beat you up. That doesn't sound too hard. Cern says, really? Here I go. Hiya. Oh, he's sucked to that. Ow. I'm sure you'll be good at something. Not everyone is meant to be a defender. I guess that's true. I'll try something else. That's not against the rules, right? His memory's a bit of sweet. Underneath his cheerful exterior, he really is a very sad boy. I'll be a farmer. That doesn't sound very difficult. Oh dear. Here is Raiden. He's the companion who got a good big farmer. I've never seen a garden plot die so quickly before. Are you sure that you follow the directions? In conclusion, my client's innocence is clear. Thank you, Your Honor. I have made my determination. Guilty, 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 guilty. I take it this means I'm not going to be a lawyer? I've tried everything else. If I can't make it as an actor, Pearson said he's going to ha have to make me leave paradise. There's an easy solution, my boy. There is. Don't screw up the performance tonight and you can stay. I'm sure you'll be fine, though. You're a great actor. Just concentrate. Concentrate. It's nearly time for him um, to wake that talent for his shift, but just a little more. It was not Cedric, father. It was your wife, Helenia. She murdered Lord Moron. What? Is there truth to this accusation, Helenia? Yes, I murdered Lord Mornon. But it shall not be the least of my crimes. Uh, so as a narrator, this is you. Not this dream again. Why is it always this one? How awful. And finally he knew the truth he had been seeking. And finally he knew the truth he had been seeking. In the heart of women lies a tiny frozen diamond, cold than the furthest reaches of space, sharper than the sharpest knives, and more dangerous than the fiery pits of hell. But it was too late for the good King Dalamar. With his passing, uh, um, yeah, with his passing passes an age. So too does our play draw to a close. Or it's close. Thanks for whispering me that line, Emily. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't gotten started. What? Whispering that line, remember? And then he knew? I didn't whisper anything too low. One minute you seemed to be floundering and then you remembered. Are you kidding? I heard you whisper that line. I don't know if this is some sort of acting thing, but thanks for the help. Now I get to stay in paradise. I didn't whisper that line, Lo. Could it be? So the girl's a telepath. Interesting. Rest well. I thank you for the glimpse into your memories. Oh, okay, I didn't reveal the obviously Emily acting, jumping off the cliff bit. I don't know why I thought that was it. Oh, well. She's a telepath. I'd forgotten that as well. You'll probably wake in a few minutes. And then I can see what Talon's memories have in store.
。啊、哦，这边。Visitors, forgive me for asking. Oh no, I've heard all this twice. Well, I've heard it twice. You skip, skip, skip. Come on, minutes in. Hurry it along. I guess I'll do. I'll wake you up for your shift. For some reason, Talon decides to stand on the roof rather than where everyone else stood. Ah,、uh, hello there, Menison. No sign of the agency yet. Oh, jumped off another building. Are you feeling well, dearie? You look a tad under the weather. I'm fine, really. Let me check your forehead. You look like you might have a fever. Really, that's okay. You don't need to. What? What is this, Menison? What's going on? Menacing. What's wrong with your memories? The color information is all wrong. Yep, he's dead. And he then goes into storage. I've never seen anything like this before. I need to see further back. Get out of my head, menacing! Before you can part with the community, you must meet with the council and pass the trials. What could have happened to damage your memories like this? Stop it! Leave me alone! I just don't understand this. I guess this is goodbye, Lash City. Sir, come on, wake up, please. It's no use. He's dead. The sheer drudgery of going the same thing day after day. The mindless tedium of returning night after night to the same rundown apartment. This is too much to take. I need to see much further back. What? The color definition of memory is back to normal. But what could have caused? Okay, Talon, you're it. And this time, count slow. No skipping numbers. You've got to go all the way to one hundred. No peeking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Peaked. Forty-two, forty-three. The memories of your childhood have the right colours, but at some point in your life, something must have you. You're blind, aren't you? Do you always、uh, do this? What gives you the right to intrude on other people's memories like this? You haven't answered my question. When I was thirteen, I developed a rare form of degenerative eye disease. None of the doctors knew of any treatment that could save my sight. My mother learned of an experimental procedure that might help, but it was very risky and very expensive. 
The doctor implanted my eyes with special circuitry and modified an ordinary visor into something more. It's hardly normal sight, but even the greens and yellows my brain can process is better than nothing at all. But something happened recently that I can't explain. I can see actual colours. The aura's off. I can't explain it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have intruded. But you can't imagine what it's like to live with what I have to... Oh, try that one again. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have intruded. But you can't imagine what it's like to live with what I have to every day. Opening memory pathways lets me cope. I suppose you could say, soul is so overwhelming. Is that what lets you see my memories? You opened a pathway? I know I shouldn't have. But you need to realise that I so rarely have visitors. Pathways usually run in two directions. I can sense warmth in the darkness. Let's see how you like it. Talon, no, don't. That seems only fair to me. Screams. Here we go. All the points converge. That was Talon, so it's wrong. Oh no, Talon, what happened? What have you done to him? So many voices. Why do they suffer? I'm sorry, I didn't think he would try to follow my memory pathway. This has never happened before. Memory pathway? What did you do? Don't want to be in the army anymore. I managed to break the pathway before he received the full force of the shock, so he should come round soon, I think. You need to tell us what's going on, Menacin. Oh, Talon, please be alright. Fired by themselves, the missiles. Is on about the Kingdom of Sur? Are you feeling better? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Just a little dazed, I guess. It's kind of dizzy. What's going on? What did you do to um, Talon? Many, many years ago, I came across a band of survivors from the ruins of the Kingdom of Sur. They were half starved and close to death. They had struggled to survive in the wilderness during the years following the destruction of Searle, but the descendants had almost, sorry, they had descended almost to the level of beasts. They were terribly sick from all sorts of diseases, and many had severe cases of radiation poisoning. But there was one man who had retained his sanity. He called himself the Keeper of Memories. Somehow the Keeper had the power to take the memories of others for his own. He had always wandered throughout uh, the ruins of Searle, finding the survivors and absorbing their memories. Within his mind, the Keeper stored all of the memories of Searle so that when his final survivor died, the memory of the Kingdom could live on within the Keeper's mind. But the Keeper was dying. He had been present at the time Searle was destroyed, and although his sickness was slower than it was for most, he did not have long to live, and Searle would die with him. He chose... No, I volunteered to receive the memories he had absorbed, the memories of an entire Kingdom. He placed his fingertips on my forehead and I collapsed. I awoke sometimes later with the Keeper dead beside me. I had become the new Keeper of Memories, and by doing so, all my memory of who I was before vanished. I lost my own history, but gained that of a doomed nation. Survivors brought me, still swooning back to this place. What does this have to do with... It's so lonely here. I wanted to see the things you've all seen, experiences your experiences. I wanted to feel hope. Hope is something no one in soul promised, possessed. Only despair, fear, sadness, and hatred. It is a heavy burden I bear. I opened a memory to Talon's mind, but he followed it back to me. And in the split second before I was able to shut down the pathway, he glimpsed the entirety of my memory. You're lucky, Talon. If the pathway had remained open any longer, your body might not have recovered as quickly. It was overwhelming. So many voices. Each one had its story to tell, and each story was one of despair. It was horrible. I can't remember any specifics, though. Just terrible, terrible pain and anger. I don't know how you can live with it. Oh, I think you do, dearie. We all have our own ways of dealing with our dark secrets. But what do we do now? Where should we go? I know where you should not go. The ruins of Searle are not for the faint-hearted. We can't just go back north. The agency is probably still, well, still on our trail. I think we should go west. The agency probably expects us to try and escape through Sol to the south. And if we go east, we're heading straight for Prima City, in the heart of the agency's power structure. There's a set of channels nearby that may get us new beyond the western mountains. 
I'll show you the way first thing in the morning. And Talon, I'm sorry for intruding on your own memories. It was good to share my story with you all, though. I'm glad you came. That speech seemed prepared, almost as if she was reading it off the sides of her, inside of her eyelids. This tunnel was built long ago by whatever race people used to live in these mountains. I don't know how stable it is anymore, but it should lead you in the direction you want to go. Thank you, Menacin. I know we didn't really get off to a good start, but I understand how it feels to carry such a burden. I know you do, dearie. Good luck. Right, uh, I saw that one. Look at that. Right, uh... Oh, that was an earthquake. Is this tunnel safe? Probably not. That was out of my hand to absorb. Oh, meh. The landscape might have hit it. Oh, it's not worth it, I'm sure. It thinks it wears off after battle. this one? No, nope, he can't. This looks interesting. Subscribe to. Meh. Volume 6. I don't where Volume 2 was and all the others. So far, anyway. Ooh, gloves for Emily. Yeah, that's a lot better. She's now at least as strong as everyone else. Oh, but she did double the damage. I suppose she, her weapon's two-handed, isn't it? Uh, is this the way I haven't been yet? Maybe we should head back? No, we have to keep going. Easy. Nice critical hits. Ooh, no strength potion. Um. Ooh, blood stream amulet. Plus two. I should kind of put boots.
Oh, I should probably have healed. I can do it after the fight. Even worse than the last one, everyone hold on, get knocked down. But we don't get back up again. So down here now. Emily? Hello? Where is everyone? I hope they're okay. And we're all by ourselves. Okay, thank you. Ooh, electric camera, is that better? Probably not. Nope. Like I said, when I bought this Mithril armor, I can't remember if it's the best armor in the game, but it's certainly going to last a long time. No, thank you. Talon, you're right. I don't like this tunnel. I'm not sure it's a good idea for us to be here. Let's just find Lola and get our way out. Find get out of here. We can find some other way to evade the agency. Right, Emily's back in the party. Lola, are you in here? There's a hole in the roof. You could have fallen down here from up above. Huh? The light. Something's blocking out the light. What was that? Our next boss fight. Devolving humanoid. Yep, yeah, blows my defense. I can mention more of metal, why not? Oh, I've got more cold sandwiches. Oh, I thought I sold them all. Right, what are my options? There we go, poisoned. for the critical. There we go. Ooh, another strength boost. There he is. That thing must have knocked him out. Let's swing back to the surface. We won't be able to use this tunnel after all. I'm... It's all right. I don't know what that thing was, but this tunnel isn't safe. Nope, it wasn't. Uh, what was I using? Oh, yeah. Strength potion. Also, I think I've used this since Emily joined the party. Right, here we go. So Emily has different tapes. Oh, okay, I can't change tape in battles. That must be right. Um, so the workout one, increases my attack power, speed, or regains HP. The mellow mix gives her party um, medium HP restored, defense increased, greatest hits does damage. Okay, so just a tutorial. Enemy can equip gloves which with which she can deal damage, at, deal out substantial damage. Her prized possession of radio and by her mother for the shortage. It's capable of producing various and battle effects depending on the tape Emily's placed inside. The effects are random, but each tape has a small range of particular effects. <laughs> so if we go to Emily now, yeah, we can change tape. Let's go for greatest hits. Oh. 
Oh no. Is that the agency's captain? He's here. Menace him. He hasn't brought any guards with him. Unless maybe it's a trap? I think we're in trouble. Why have you come back? What's happening? We've got company menacing. The agency is here. That man. I've seen him before. What? You've seen him before? Not me. No. Menacing, what's going on? He was there the day the missiles launched. Little Sally Kesman saw him outside the complex. She knew she wasn't supposed to go near the base, but she loved the wildflowers that grew there so much. Oh, she did love flowers. Her mother let her keep her vase and sort of flowers inside, in her room, full of the prettiest ones she could find. She was looking for flowers on the day Sol was destroyed. What are you doing? Hello? Do you work for the base? My daddy works for the base. Yes, I do work for the base. Now run along and play, little girl. What are you doing? Can I see? I'm just making sure the base is safe for your daddy. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. He was there on the day Sol launched its missiles and the agency counterattacked. That's impossible. Searle attacked the agency almost 30 years ago. You must be confusing him with someone else. That man Sally saw was sent by the agency. He did something that day to launch the missiles. He did something that day at the base that caused the missiles to fire and the agency retaliated. So the agency would have an excuse to destroy Searle. Here he comes. Get ready, everyone. I hadn't expected to give you up so easily, Talon. Perhaps I misjudged you. The agency is going to pay for what they've done to me and my friends, and we're going to start with you. Agency captain prepares to attack. Oh, this is going to be interesting. No aura detected, huh? Ah, uh, not that body good. Basically, we just have to. I think, I think we can't win this battle, so. So our choices are nimble lead, strong lens, and defenses. Aims attack, which ignores defenses. No use, he's too strong. You have something of mine, Talon. Hand it over and I might show you mercy. No, never. I'm sure I could convince someone. I'm sure I could convince someone to have you handed over. This old woman, perhaps. You, after all these years, I finally found the answer. 
What are you talking about, woman? I know why the people of the soul have to suffer. I know why I have to relive the pain and sorrow they feel every day. This woman has already lost her senses, so I'll choose someone else to assist your decision, Talon. How about the girl behind you? When she's screaming, I bet you'll see where your best interests lie. No, no matter what happens, Talon, don't give me the package. You think you turn your back on a helpless old woman? How wrong you are. Share the misery of the forgotten kingdom of Sir. Medicine wraps her arms around the agency captain's head. Screaming. What's going on? Mas Masa says that the agency is invading. There was a malfunction in the missile bays, and some of them fired. What? You have to come home. I, I can't do that, honey. The commanders need me here. No, I, do I need you to come home right now. I don't care what the commanders say about it. Honey, are you still there, honey? The agency wiped out the base where my husband worked in a matter of minutes. But I don't care because I know that at the last... The, but I don't care because I know that at the last... I think this is just... He refused to come home to me, however. And I hate the agency for tarnishing my memory of him like that. Come on, bro, wake up, come on. I wanted to be in the army like my brother Jim. He had a cool uniform and got to carry a gun. I don't want to be in the army anymore. My mummy said I shouldn't, but I went to the cemetery to see all the dead people. I was hoping it'd be flowers and it would be all pretty, but it was scary instead. I couldn't find my daddy's stone anymore because there were too many. My wife and I had bought a new home just a few months before the agency's attack. It was part of a row of houses and each one looked like the one next to it. I guess that's still true. He's not moving. This isn't like last time. He did more than just glimpse my memories. I actively transferred them into his mind. But does that mean he is the new keeper of memories? He brought about the destruction of an innocent kingdom. Let him deal with the despair, the hatred, the regret. Let Searle taunt him for the rest of his days. I can't think of a more fitting punishment. It seems so cruel. What's with you, Emily? This is the man who probably killed your father, burned down your town, and chased me all over the... Emily? But I'm sure he was just following orders. The real culprit is whoever gave him those orders. Emily, a nice name. It doesn't matter anyway. He probably won't survive the transfer. And if he does, he won't remember anything of his life before. Good. I say we leave him somewhere in the mountains and let him start a new life. Even that's too good for him. Talon, what are you saying? We can't just leave him here. He was so proud, so... Look at him now. He's been reduced to just an empty shell of what he once was. And all because he was doing what he thought was right. Emily, protect me from... Angry Talon voice? What's gotten into you? This is the enemy. Right here on the ground before us. He was going to kill us all. The enemy. The enemy. I mean, oh, okay. No. Let's go, Lil. I'm not going to stay here and listen to Emily sympathize with our enemy. You don't feel bad at all, do you? Look what we've done to him. I'm sure he did worse to your father. Get out of here. Talon, that was a little... Fine. We're going to Paradise to see if the Agency has stopped killing people yet. I don't think they will have. I said get out of here. 
Roar. It's okay, he's gone now. Right, so me and Lul will head back to paradise. Oh look! Is that the shop droid? Yeah. Uh, did we get anything we need, does he? No. There we go. Ooh, more treasure. Large axe. Don't think anyone uses them. Some random washing. Maybe I'm wasting all my strength things on Talon, maybe I should just shove them all on low. IQ up. How much does that heal? Oh, it does cost 24. So how much does invigorate heal? Oh, low HP for our eyes. Oops. You know what? Why not? Ooh, that was nice. Why is Talon doing more damage? I'm not going to complain. Right, um, what was high Q? Was that right? Uh, 2 out of 15, not going to happen. Oh, it's the Defenders section that we've never been to before. And look, it's AG7. Invalid header. Hoy? Still broken, I see, but I'm glad you're safe. And he rejoins us. Now, if we hadn't got him, he wouldn't have rejoined us, but um, it kind of works against you almost to a degree in a bit. There's no one here. The agency just destroyed it and left. This is monstrous. What have we ever done to the agency to preserve this? That bastard. Menacing thinks forcing the memories of Sol on him is punishment enough. He should remember this. And Emily, how could you forgive anyone who would do this? How? We should bury everyone we can find. They deserve better, but the agency guards must have taken their dead with them and left the people here to rot. Useful when we get Emily back.
Ooh. I haven't learned. Right, is that everyone? What have I missed? Right, the mountain is gone. Missed somebody somewhere. I thought we got to go back into the storage bit, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, hold on. Stairs. Did I fully check the bottom left? Half to the field seems to have gone, yeah. Okay. They've taken everything. This place was cluttered full of boxes before. They must have been looking for something, but what could it have been? Oh no! How could the agency be so ruthless? He was just an old man. Talon, I think Pearson shot himself. What? The gun he's holding. His hand is closed um, too tightly to remove it. It's an antique too. The agency doesn't use weapons this old. It's definitely made this wound. I mean, I saw him the night the agency destroyed this place. It must have been right before he died. But why would he? He gave us this, and he told us not to let it fall into the hands of the agency. If that agency captain tried to get Pearson to tell him where he'd been hiding this thing, Pearson was the type to take matters into his own hands. How horrible. What's so important about this package anyway? What's in it? I will never know. He said not to open it. We should bring him back outside. This place smells of death. Sir, if you can hear me from wherever it is that you are now, I'll keep Emily safe. I won't let anyone harm her, no matter what. I'm Emily. Can you say your name? Rush. Is that your name? Who are you? Can you tell me who you are? Kr. Kirsch. Kirsch. Your name is Kirsch. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kirsch. Can you say my name? Emily. Emily. That's it. I think you're getting better, Kirsch. We'll have you chatting up a storm no time. We're leaving. What? Paradise is empty. There weren't any survivors. The agency just left. They killed everyone and they didn't even want the town. That's what it looks like, Emily. About before. Talon, it's alright. I hate the agency as much as you do. But Kirsch isn't with the agency anymore. He's with us now. And he can help us make them pay for what they've done. He has a name now? Head Hurts. We're going to head south. Still might be dangerous, but it should also be deserted, which is better than any other place we might go. Voices. If he's coming, you better keep him quiet. I'm not going to put up with his whining. Who is she? Are you ready to go? Here, I'll help you up. There, there. You won't find anyone in Searle. The place has been deserted for years. But don't let your guard down. It is still dangerous. Keep your eyes, especially on this Kirsch. His mind may have been devastated, but he was capable of great evil once. You've been a great help, Menacin, and not just because you neutralized the threat Kirsch posed to us. The memories of Sol that now lie within his mind have affected him differently than they did me. Do not underestimate him. Those memories seem to have traumatized him in some way, but I don't know whether the effect is permanent. Stay alert. Goodbye, Menacin. I'm sorry we couldn't bring you much happiness. The unhappiness of Searle is already fading from my mind, and that alone is enough to give me joy. May you all have safe journeys ahead. So now we can go south. And 
we have a party. Now, had we not had AG7, Kirsch would actually be in the party. And he's very strong, from what I recall. Very, very strong. It's getting dark. We should look for a safe place to wait out the night. I think so overgrown. Seoul would almost be a nice place to live if it wasn't for what happened here so long ago. I'm trying not to think about it. It's only going to get worse as it gets darker. Darker. Let's go, Kirsch. We're wasting time. Oh, I'm suggest for that thing, so. Torn clothes. I'm sure, the car has much better protection. Melted plastic toy. Kirsch has been subjected to memories of sorrow. These things we find teach him his skills, but not here for it, unfortunately. Sadly, I'd much rather have him in the party than Emily. Oh, I have a new weapon for her. is pretty rubbish. It's kind of a shame we didn't have to choose our party. Can I go down this way? Okay, nothing. We are nearly at the end of the game. Or the demo, or whatever. This is the last area that I can think of on this. At least I think it's the last area. Um, I mean, there might be... I mean, the very final bit might be slightly different, but it's in this sort of story section. G7. Feels so weak now. I think it's the lowest level, but even so, HP wise, it seems really low. Side. Ooh, one by itself. Okay, new repertoire. East, I guess. It's almost too dark to keep going. This is as good a place to rest as any, I guess. How are you feeling, Kirsch? I'm going to stop here for tonight. 
All right. I'll light up a fire. Soul is creepy by daylight. I don't want to face midnight without a light of some kind. Where are we going? We're heading south, Kirsch. This place used to be called Searle before it was well. It's called Searle. Don't like it. Want to leave. I don't imagine it likes you much either. Don't like you. Honestly, you two. Why can't you be nice to him, Talon? Oh, he killed those people. And here come board of droids and hovercrafts. And some weird apparition. He wakes up screaming. Kirsch, are you alright? Those things I see when I sleep. We talked about those, remember? Those are dreams. You're probably dreaming about Searle as it used to be. Menison said that she got used to having the memories of everyone from Searle. And the dreams weren't so bad after a while. I know, but these are different. Sometimes I see things that aren't from the soul people. Terrible things. You're getting better at speaking already, Kirsch. I'll bet it'll be just like that with the bad dreams. Before too long, you won't even notice the bad dreams. Wherever it is, they come from. Can you, can you keep a secret? What's wrong? I think I made everybody in Seoul die. Why would you say that? Whenever my eyes are open, I see everyone in Seoul and they're all dying and angry. And whenever my eyes are closed, I see myself doing things. Things that... horrible things. Death everywhere, and I see... Hirsch, it's okay. Everything's alright. Emily, can you tell me? How did you find me? What was I doing before I met you? I just don't remember. Well, you... We all lived in a place called Paradise. It was small, but it was beautiful. We were all so happy. All our friends were right there. We never needed to worry about being lonely or afraid. I want to dream about Paradise instead of so. I hate so. Please tell me more about Paradise, please. Well, we all have to choose professions. You were an actor, Kirsch, one of the best. You'd get standing ovations. Now we slept through that whole bit. Daylight, time to get moving again. We're up to a soldier, memories of blocks. More stale pit breads. Yeah, I can't remember that one. Just wonder if it would be a ghost again. better than a non-rusty shield? Nope. I mean, I understand why everything's broken and destroyed, but it doesn't make it very exciting to find equipment. More loads to on there. They were good, weren't they?
Well, I can't have missed a lot of equipment for AG7. One boot. Scorched all. Numbers of hate. I want to say you got four skills in total. Oh, catapult. I was just complaining about that. So it just requires three things, but actually lowers his attack. Let's just try it. Maybe the thing I don't realize about it, like, attacks twice. Nope. Right, go back to um, his original weapon. Oh, actually, the skill it gets might be much better. Still, three energy every attack. Dirty Volume 7, or more to find, I guess. Well, that obviously I've got that pattern to use it with. I wonder if, he'd been, if he would have been likely to rejoin us shortly afterwards. Oops. So I've got seven, not face, self preservation. A water battery? Nope. Members of pain. Maybe he had more than four skills. If I, oh, the save point's just there. Probably can't be too far from us. Oh, how do I get them? What have I missed? Okay, just come up from the other side. Ooh, just the one. Can you become a dancer? Nope. There's two chests. Ooh, vitality pill. Inflated for members of fear. Maybe it was six skills they got. Um. Oh, okay. Um. 
No, it can't be so oh, fine. She's on Talon. I'm not sure why she can't put anything in the accessory bit or the miscellaneous, wherever it was. Yeah. Ooh, battle background changed. in just one moment. Okay, right then. Still wandering around the ruins. All the batteries do different elements. Ooh, heavy club and some sort of cannon. Uh, that might be the way. Let's go check that last little passage. Ooh, 
Ooh. Finally, stuff for the robot. Oh, forest people is stronger. Enables medium repair or enables force field. Medium repair. Yay. I guess force field didn't work. Probably I'm gonna have to talk about where are these batteries I keep picking up. I assume they're for him. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just battle items? Dunno. Um Providing droids. Just I think we're very near the Yeah, this looks like it. What are you doing? I'm not moving until you tell me where we're going and why. Kirsch? Fine, stay here, but the rest of us are going. Talon, this is important. We'll need to talk about this sooner or later. We might as well do it now. This is not a good idea. Kirsch, I told you about Paradise, remember? Well, someone very special gave us something very important. And it's our job to keep it safe. What is it? It's a package of some kind. It's made of a sort of gold and has two latches on the outside that keep it shut. Emily. We don't know what's inside and we're not supposed to open it. Can I see it? No. Tell them, I'm sure it's no. Absolutely not. And unless you have any better ideas, we keep heading south until I say we stop. If whatever's inside this pack is important enough for your father to, you know... We're keeping it as far away from the agency as possible, and that includes supposedly former agency captains. He's becoming less and less confused, and that makes him dangerous. If his memory starts coming back... Talon, you worry too much. End of discussion. The highway here is in good shape. It looks as if the battle touched so lightly in this region. There's something glinting in the sunlight to the east. It looks like a huge metal building. I've got a bad feeling about this place. Why would the agency wipe the soul off the map but leave this building untouched? I know this place. I think I've seen it somewhere. Will you keep him quiet? I'm trying to think. What do you know about this place, Kirsch? I think the people who destroyed Searle came over this highway. That building wasn't what it was supposed to be. Do you know what it is, Kirsch? No, I don't remember. I think that building is a refinery of some kind, and it looks like it was built some time before the shortage. What's wrong? Nothing. Then let's go. Okay, here we are in what is definitely the final bit, I'm pretty sure. Oh, what the? Foreign object detected. Person lasers. The package talent. It's glowing. Quick, throw it here. Backup generator disengaged. Containment doors sealed. Emily, can you hear me? Barely, talent. This door isn't opening. Is the package safe? It's fine. But why would this place have a decontamination system? Why would it be set off by... I don't know, but whatever's inside this place might look like from the outside. It's not a refinery, that's for sure. Emily, stay where you are. We'll try and find a way around. Girl, so we've lost her. Is any of this intractable? Nope, okay. Is there something over here? Nope. Full battery. Ah, 
and lots of robots. Wait, did I remember to absorb? I didn't, did I? Oh well. I'd normally explore more, but this is literally the end, so... Curiosity. I'm not sure if that's right. Ah, let's heal. I think this is looping. Is it looping? You've turned a bit longer. Oh no. Does this mean we're nearly there? Here we go. Also, I'm I some remember section of the game we haven't done yet. Okay, I completely um Yeah, do you remember that simulation where Dahlia was trapped? I recall having to get out of there. Maybe that's the last part of the game. I forgot that it was this late in the game. Anyway. What is this place? This room is full of charging stations for battle droids. Hey, those are causes that they were used to repair and service battle droids, AG7. Recharge, repair, equal true. This is no mere refinery. This place is built for war. I don't know if Talon's going to be able to find us this, his way, Kirsch. We'll just have to find him ourselves. Oh, okay, we do get to use Kirsch then. Totally forgot this bit there. Her is more than strong enough. I've got five. Maybe I missed one. Fear, pain, sorrow, whatever that is, hatred. Let's give a pain, I think that probably do. Very strong. Some healing. It's got very low health, though. Both its attack and um, mana or SP are identical. They're like Talamos, but I used all the items on him.
No, we haven't actually checked his equipment, have we? Which I haven't. Okay, he needs a shield. Is it, it's a transport train? All these boxes have labels that read Prima City. Why would this building have a rail connection to Prima City? It doesn't look as if these rails have any power. If they did, we could ride this tram to Prima. What's at Prima City? Someone very bad, Kirsch. The headquarters of the agency are in Prima. Did you hear something? Several days previously. Damn, why didn't I pay more attention to the secure node access channel? The advocate must not be our activated. Listen to me, you don't know what you're doing. Please. The firewall for Tasgard cannot be breached, so whomever is doing this must be somewhere inside the facility. Guards, there is an intruder on the premises. Find and capture him immediately. We'll see what we can do, Professor. Are you sure there's someone here? Our cameras aren't showing anyone. Someone is hacking into the system. Find him. Man to her? I've never heard of you. I was recruited by your employer fairly recently. It looks as if the old man has activated an emergency lockout system. I need to go make some changes. Aren't you going to let me out this uh, simulation? Hmm, this old man has more tricks we see than I thought. This might be interesting. I've activated the code snippets the old man kept in the simulation for emergencies. I don't have the time to trigger them now, so if you want to get out, you need to trigger these free code signatures yourself. I don't have the time right now. How will I know? I don't believe this. I have to play some stupid computer game to get out this thing. That's how I feel. I remember this being quite bad. Your Highness, I'm afraid you must stay here. Your protection is of paramount import. I guess it's better than waiting here for that slicer to get back. Right. I'm too interested in coding the aqueduct region of the dungeon. It's too small right now. Critical read error, blah. Great, not only do I have to play some stupid video game to get the simulation, but it doesn't even work right. Welcome to the dungeon, brave adventurer. Monsters have to, um, to spawn within its depths. Wonderful. How long do I have to do this? Rumor has it that each room in the dungeon possesses untold treasure, as well as fiendish monsters and traps. Critical read error. Is that so? Area 1, catacombs. Hit the OK button to attack. Stay alert. Not all the enemies will be affected. If you perish, you will restart from the entrance. Oh, great. Any treasure here? Okay, ghost not affected. Let's try the other way. Ugh.
Well, I can't deal with ghosts, can I? Let's come back. Oh, they've respawned. That's some treasure. Really? Nothing? Do I have to kill them, maybe? Can I not step on that? No, okay. Oh, Nothing. Ugh. Up on the side. Nope. Is there another section of the dungeons? Or... Let's go check. Is there something else I've forgotten? About you. Ooh, treasure chest. I put the water wings in level one of the dungeon and the passage across this channel will work. Bedfoot codes of the water wings will only let you walk over water when equipped. Okay, so let's get them. Great. Yep, can't go that way, yeah. Okay, back to the dungeon. If they dead, it wouldn't be anywhere near as bad. I think I've fully explored the bottom up, didn't I? Is it just... Oh, it's got a patrol. Step down. Glowing crystal, bronze key. Weird. Um, why do I use that? It's right here. It doesn't need it. It's gonna save anyway. Key my inventory. Um, oh, this is too full now. Barely tell a thing. Just go the other way and see if I find anywhere to use it. Oh, wait, did I go top or bottom last time? Yeah, it was pretty top.
Can I run between this room again? No, they didn't. Okay, so the ghosts actually just patrol. Need to go a couple of long, aren't I? Skeletons are kind of trapped at Stover. Ooh, chest. Water wings. Okay, I think I'm done here. Maybe. As long as I get to keep them if I die, it's fine. Anything else in here that wasn't there? Oh well, I'm out of my water wings. Hopefully. Right, so I should be able to go across water. Right, let's go get that chest, wherever it was. So the key. One more to go, I think. I need to reroute my memory back here. It's inefficient, whatever that means. Okay, so I can't go this way. Right, just that one room then. But this is it. Dark catacombs. Oh, well, terrible start. got two ways. Of course. Please go up. Down first. Wait, is this back where I started? Oh, come on. I have to be quick as soon as it goes past. There we go. Oh, since not to die. What was the other way then? Oh. Let 
I'm going back into level 2 will cause instant some death. Okay, so I won't do that then. But now I'm annoyed. Let's see what's in that. The final room and better not be more if I need it. Oh. This is just such a pain. Hands attack here, so I just have to dodge. At least it's not dark, it's more annoying than ever. Oh wait, I won. That's way. And there's obviously glowy water I can cheat with. Ah. Oh. I feel like this should be another car mini game. You've absolutely had enough. To change and chicken out or have something else do it. Right, uh, let's go straight for it. Serious glowing crystal, gold key. Right, I think that should mean. It's a quick check down here, but I think that's pretty it. And so since you can kill me. Oh no. Right, that's good. You have died, so I can use it. It's yes, then. I don't know what was in that other bit, but I don't think it matters. If there was probably nothing anyway. Right, I've got my three keys. Let's end this awful simulation. Yay! Fine, you're gonna pay for that item. He's not here. I see that you've made it. Where's Professor Ice? I'm going to place him under arrest for obstructing an agent's duty. Restraining an agent's. I've got him preoccupied with something else while I do what I came here to do. Once my mission's over, he's all yours. My preliminary should be all set up, so let's see what he's got to say. Oh, I'm just about to see the advocates come back on. Good morning, advocate. Hello. I have some instructions for you to possess, um, to process advocate. These instructions come directly from Agency High Command. Why is this place so small? It used to be bigger. What do you mean? You've sealed me in this tiny building. There used to be connections with satellites, ships, other buildings. It's cramped now. I'm uploading your new instructions, advocate. Why doesn't the other one talk? I don't really know anything about all this computer stuff. Mantis is the one who wants to talk to you. This program is simple. You want me to optimize the power levels of this base and make the colony I built more efficient? That's right. I can do that, and maybe afterwards I'll talk to the silent one some more. Well, he's not here either. Where could this hacker be hiding? <gasps> the security doors. He's hacked the emergency sealing system. This guy is good. If he hadn't activated the advocate by now, it's only a matter of time before he does. I may be trapped here, but this console ensures I won't be defenseless. Let's see how he deals with my data crushing fire eye once I um, let them loose the system. Go, my children. The advocate won't do them much good if all his data has to work with, with is cut to ribbons. Oh. Another minigame. Collect power icons to optimize Tasgard's end use and avoid the Virai in a sentence system. Press the OK button to activate one of Mantis' three countermeasures, which lets you destroy Virai for a short amount of time. Collecting enough power icons will cause the ready light to glow. Press the cancel button at any time to exit. That's all Pac Man. Start again. Oh. I'll keep trying a couple more times, but... Oh, literally a second. Uh... 
and how many we need to get to. That grid finger should be enough power. I'm going to capture the professor before he does any more damage. Keep an eye on the advocate. How am I supposed? He won't last long with the agency. He doesn't have any respect for procedure. Hello. Uh, hi there. Where did the other one go? Manta had to go take care of something. I've run into a bit of a problem. There isn't enough power stored within the basement to finish the inst his instructions. Is it really that important? Is it really important that Catch Colony get all this power? Well, yes. Manta's orders come from the high agency high command. Of course, it's important they be carried out. Oh, oh well. There's no way Tasgard has the power unless. No, that's impossible. What? A long time ago, there was a routine encoding the mainframe to allow this base to connect to several others. It was disconnected for a long time because there was no need to use it. But if you activate that routine, you'd be able to connect to those other bases and add their power to this one. That's right. Here's what you need to do. She's not being played or anything. Okay, I'm finished. That should have opened up the connections. Advocate? Professor, his orders come directly from Agency High Command, but can't go against that. You don't understand. The Advocate is dangerous. What's going on? Has the Advocate optimized the Tasgai power levels? It said it couldn't get enough power from this base and told me to um, back this old routine to open up connections with... What? There's an enormous amount of activity going on on the mainframe, almost as if... Close the connections at once. The advocate is making copies of itself. And there they go. Open into the wild. Advocate, are you there? This is not good. I was told the defensive network was dismantled. It should have been. But the agency, in its vast wisdom, kept it in place and just deactivated the entrances. The advocate could be just about anywhere by now. How many copies of itself did it manage to send into the world? Too many. Aizen, Dahlia, you're going to have to come with me. Where are we going? We're going to Primer City to speak with my boss. I think we've got some explaining to do. Now we're back here. What's going on? It seems that the power was just turned on. AG717, this is more like it. The mobility is very encouraging. AG7, are you feeling alright? I'd prefer it if you referred to me as Advocate. Calling me by the model of this battle droid is just too generic for my tastes. What happened to AG7? Who's that there? Is that, is that with you, Talon? Emily. So yep, the Advocate now joins us. If you didn't have the battle droid, there would be one there already, and the advocate would then come in with that. I don't think we can get to Talon, it's too high. I'm going to try though, hang on. Emily, wait! She fell, there's the package. Emily? I'm alright, I'm just a little bruised. There's a transport tram down here, Talon. It looks as if it runs on rails to Primer City. If we go there, Kirsch and I can sneak into the agency building and find the man responsible for ordering the attack on Paradise. Emily, no. We can't go to Primer. It's too dangerous. We'll find a way down there. Just wait. Kirsch picked up the package. Ah, Kirsch, are you alright? Yes. I think I just remembered something. The lights are flickering. I don't think the power is going to stay on for long. Emily, I agree with Talon. We can't go to Prime without us. We need to talk things over. Lil, I'm sorry, but the tram might run out of power at any moment. I have to do this now while I still can. Kirsch, you ready? The tram might remain not remain powered for long. I'm fine. You go on board. I'll be right there. 
it's good to have this back again. To think I could have forgotten about it, even for a little while. Talon, do you remember what I told you on the rooftop back at Lash City? Well, I remember. Damn it. His memories returned. Don't worry, Talon. I'll take good care of her. Curse, you bastard. See you at Primer, Talon. Don't be late. No, no. I will hunt you down, Kirsch. I will kill you. Kirsch, if you harm her. Kirsch! We're on our way, Kirsch. Now we'll make the agency pay for what they've done. It'll be a few hours before we get to Primer, so we should get try and get some rest. Kirsch, are you okay? Don't worry, Kirsch. I'm sure the others will be able to meet up with us at Primer. Talon's very dependable. I'm fine. I just have some thinking to do. Okay, good night. Some thinking and some planning. To be concluded. Now for the most painful screen of all. Thanks for playing. Send your questions, comments, and criticisms to lysander86 at hotmail.com. Save your game for use in Lion's End. Well, don't think that's going to happen. Or certainly doesn't seem to be. And now a special bonus exclusive to this release of a blurred line. Now, when I want to say about the most painful screen, because I thought it was going to say there, a Lion's End coming 2001. A special teaser trailer for the final fully conclusion of Lion's End. Enjoy. For the past two years, the Blurred Line saga has told the story of Talon's escape from the all-powerful agency and its intense desire to find and capture him. But all the things must come to an end. For Talon, that end approaches. Next winter, Talon stops running. Oh, 2003, not 2001. So it's only 15 years later. And there we have it. That was the end of a blurred line. Oh, hope you enjoyed it. I mean, there's still um, plenty of replayability in it if I wanted to carry on. Because there's the two other people from um, Paradise and their memories. And then there's also the other gang, which there isn't much difference um, from what you've seen. Um, you get a different party member who, has the, who just learns skills by leveling. Um, you have to complete another little mini game to get out of the sorry, the neon vipers, or is it laser teeth? The laser teeth sort of base. But anyway, you can do that if you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.